linear app tutorial how to use linear app hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can get started with using the linear application so you are now able to meet the system for modern software development streamline issues projects epics and bugs and so much more let's jump right in what exactly is Linear? Well, Linear is a tool that allows you to manage all of your software development needs. You can manage your projects end to end with project updates. You can ideate and specify what you're trying to build, build initiatives, milestones, and create progress insights. You also have the ability to track your issues while, while you are, you know, using the platform with priorities, build momentum, and have linear insights. You have AI that works where you work. So these agents are going to help you in organizing information and keeping a close eye on everything as it goes. You also have Linear MCP, AI natively built in, as well as collaborative access across multiple different tools and teams. So let's jump right into Linear. To jump right in, click on sign up on the top right to get started. Once you click on sign up, you can sign up with Google, email, or SSO. We're just going to proceed with our email over here. And just like so, we have created our account. Now, once you have created your account, you can move on to the next step. So we're just going to proceed with account creation over here. And once we have done our account creation, we can move forward. Now over here, our account is now being created. And once our account has been created, we are going to set up our workspace. So this is our first workspace. On the left, this will have your projects and then your project views, as well as your teams and team members. You can customize your sidebar. I want to always show everything. This just makes everything easier to access. And then below that in your your team section you will have issues project views and then you have your try section where you can import issues invite people and link to github starting off you can click on create new project over here and add your project name like so whenever you add a project name you can add your brief description or ideas over here you can choose whether or not this project has yet to be started, if it has been planned, if it's in progress, completed, or cancelled. Then you can choose the urgency. It's low, medium, high, and urgent. Then you can choose your project lead. You can add the project members, and this is what I really like about using Linear, is that there are these really nice distinctions that you can easily use and utilize whenever you are building your project or your spaces, because certain members might not be working on every single project, so it can distinctively add the ones that are working on a certain project. This makes it just a whole lot easier for you to manage everything and for you to be able to build a really nice directory and organize information. So after that, you can add the members and then click on the start. And then once you click on start over here, you guys are going to pick out the start date. Let's say this is scheduled for Monday. And then the target date to complete this is within a month. The label for this, if I want, I can proceed with creating any label that I want. Let's say this is for a candy company, okay? So I'm just going to add the label for candy, let's say. And this is just totally up to your own, you know, however you want to categorize things. Once you do that, you can proceed with adding your description, adding a short summary, and then you can add milestones. This is especially helpful to boost morale across your team because when your team has something to look forward to, in a sense, they are able to work better. And I have noticed this in a lot of, you know, general teams is that if you have these goals and milestones set up it just makes it really easy and efficient to reach those milestones then you can click on create project and once your project is created this is what it's going to look like now after that you can add active issues over here so within projects you have one project and you can add milestones activities and when you're creating your issues you can click on issue over here and then add this to a certain list within the issue categorization you have backlog to do in progress done cancelled and duplicate and then the priority let's say this is urgent you can choose the assignee and then you can choose whichever project this issue is related now 
this particular tool the linear app tool does not build issues within the project instead it has issues as a separate tab and within that separate tab you are able to specify the project which i find to actually be a better hierarchy for me to use because it just makes everything very accessible and easy to understand so whenever our team needs to work on something they can look at the issues and then proceed with resolving them then you can see the labels so whether this is a bug if this is a feature or improvement let's say this is a bug and then i can click on create issue this makes it really easy for goal-oriented teams to get to work quickly and to be able to manage their overall project especially if you are launching projects on behalf of someone else or you know you are a consultancy building for other teams this just makes it really easy for your team to always stay hands-on below that you have views where you can choose to filter out what you want to see you can create your own custom views using filters and you can display certain projects or issues that you want from here this is going to be a general view and then you can click on display on the right and you can filter these views out so you have list and board views as well as grouping ordering as well as display properties now within your workspace, you can go into members and start inviting members from the top right. And then you can add team members as well. So you can categorize certain teams, let's say engineering or software development or whatever team it is. You can add team A, team B, whatever you want like so. Then on your top, you have your general profile settings, notifications, security and access, and any connected accounts. You can connect to Slack, GitHub, and Google Calendar for seamless management. Now, you might think all of this comes at a really high price, but it actually is not expensive whatsoever. GitHub is connectable. You have a bunch of different initiatives, documents, customer requests, pulse, asks, and so many powerful features. And guess what? All of this is available for free. They have a free plan available for unlimited members where you can add two teams and add upwards of 250 issues and connect with Slack and GitHub. Their basic plan starts at $10 per user per month on monthly billing. You can get a 20% discount if you opt for yearly billing. This includes five teams, all the free features, unlimited issues and files, and admin roles. Their business plan has all of those features as well as linear asks, teams, private teams and guests, insights, triage responsibility, and Zendesk and Intercom integrations. You can go into their pricing section and scroll down to have a full list of all of the different features that are available for each one of these price plans now i personally do think that even the free plan on a linear is far better than what you're going to find on the market out there no other platform is providing such functionality completely for free the way that linear is so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with the linear app if you did find this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions or queries you guys can leave those in the comments down below i would love to know what you guys have to say